Twelve two. Thank you for what? correcting me. This is twelve dash two. What page is this on? Page 494, okay. Yeah. All right, so they're talking about, they're talking about customary units of capacity. So they're, they're talking about here gallons, quarts, pints, cups, and fluid ounces. Those are the units of capacity capacity we're talking about and when we talk about units of capacity we're talking about liquids and gas so how much something can hold because no matter what the shape is if I had a if I had a weird shaped cup that looked like this okay and I poured water into it it would fill the whole thing up. So units of capacity. Now, in the example here that they've got, this is something right here you'll probably reference back to multiple times. And it says one gallon equals four quarts. Some of you might have already known that. It says one quart equals two pints. One pint is two cups. One cup is eight fluid ounces. Now, this would be handy to write down on maybe a three by five card if you had something like this. A three by five card. I actually looked for some, I couldn't find any. I wanted to hand some out today, but um, they were all gone. So, um, don't know what happened to them. So one gallon is four quarts. Your book says that. Uh, a half a gallon is two quarts. Well, that makes sense. If one gallon is four quarts, a half a gallon is gonna be two quarts. And then we've got a half a pint, or I'm sorry, a half a quart right here. That is one pint. And a half a pint is one cup. And what was that, Mr. Fall and Mr. Williams? What did I just say? Yeah, erase points, both of you. And a half a cup is four fluid ounces. And then going back to gallons, one gallon is eight pints, one quart is four cups, and one pint is 16 fluid ounces. So if you write this down, and I can show it again in a few minutes when I'm done, it would be, it'll come in really handy for you guys. So let's look at the example here. Some of this should be familiar. I'm gonna erase this. Okay, it says to change from a larger unit to a smaller unit, you multiply. Well, that's the same procedure we had in the last lesson when we were talking about measuring things. And then again, from to change from a smaller unit to a larger unit, you divide. And they give you an example here, uh, three and three quarters cups to fluid ounces. Well, you would multiply eight ounces times three and three quarter and you end up with 30 fluid ounces talking about division going from pints to quarts something larger one pint and then you're going to um, find five divided by two and you're going to get two and a half quarts when you convert from pints to quarts why do you divide well, it says it right here because you need to go from a smaller unit to larger. So you divide.
and they say that right here. Let's look at number one in the guided practice. It says, why would you change four gallons, five quarts, to five gallons, one quart? Because four quarts equal one gallon. It would make more sense. If I measured something that was, let's say, 14 inches long, wouldn't it make more sense to say one foot two inches long? Whenever possible, you want to convert something to a measurement and or in this case we're talking about capacities that would fit the application if I ask you we talked about from Valley Springs to Toyon the other day how far it is it was four and a half miles you wouldn't want to give that to me in feet or yards that wouldn't make any sense so if we're talking about um, Gallons, it would make more sense to say five gallons and one quart. Uh, number two, why is one eighth of a cup equal to one fluid ounces? Okay, so you would tell me because um, something fluid ounces equal one cup. You can fill that in. All right, in the next section, you're going to convert those units of capacity. So let's look at um, let's look at number three here. It says thirty-two cups equals something gallons. Well, first off, how many cups are in a gallon? That's what you need to find out. Well, if we move to this chart up here, does it tell us how many cups are in a gallon? No. no. But it, does it tell us how many cups are in a quart? N not really, no. Does it tell, many, tell us how many cups are in a pint? Yes. It does. It does tell us that. And then we know how many pints go in a quart and how many quarts go in a gallon. So you guys are going to have to convert these. Um, how many cups are in one gallon? Anybody know? Yeah, Mr. Eberhardt, nicely done, 50 points. Right away he said 16. So if there's 16 cups in one gallon, 32 cups would be what? Two gallons. All right. Um... Number eight, nine pints equals how many quarts? Well, look at, go back above. I'm not going to move my sheet here. Um, how many, how many pints are in a quart? So it would be what? Four quarts and one pint left over. Um, or you could say, 
let's see here. Four quarts and one pint. Or four and one half quarts. How many cups are in a gallon? So five gallons would be what? 16 times five equals something. Uh, number 21. Complete the table to show equivalent measures. So one gallon is how many quarts? Yeah, there's four quarts in a gallon. And then they give it to us. It says one gallon is eight pints. And then how many cups? Yep. And then how many fluid ounces? A lot. 128. And you got that by multiplying 16 times 8. And you got 128. Okay. And then two gallons would be eight quarts. And you guys can fill out the rest of that. All right, let's look at these here. The class has an aquarium that holds two gallons of water. How many cups is this? There's two questions here. Answer them both. How many cups and... How many fluid ounces? Make sure you answer both questions. Number 23, Susan finds that, that two pints, Susan finds that two pints, one cup of water has evaporated from the class aquarium. How many pints of water are left in the aquarium? Well, let's go back up it holds two gallons and the question is how many pints of water are left so you're gonna have to do some subtraction there we'll make this one worth a stick okay and 24 So we're talking about volume. If all the dimensions were doubled, what would be the volume of the new aquarium? If something had a volume of 310 inches, what do I put right here? What do I put right here? Yeah, 310 inches cubed. Remember, we're talking about volume. So the answer would be cubed. Number 25, Carrie has three gallons of paint. Brian has 10 quarts of paint. How many more pints of paint does Carrie have than Brian? Oh, that's a good one. Scratch out 26. Not worried about that one. Not worried about 28 or 29. And you can do 27. They give you some information there that you can use. Okay, that's it. Any questions on any of these? No? All right. Let me put this back up. You want to copy it down.